Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how you bridge your internet connection to any other devices. So you can bridge your connection to your laptop, desktop or any other router. So today in this uh, setup I'm going to bridge my Airtel uh, connection to uh, this uh, router. Sorry. To the TP-Link router. So uh, let's get started. So uh, let me log in to this router 68.1.1. So this is my, I'm sorry, I put it the wrong IP address 192.168.1.1. So this is my ISP router. This is D-Link. So let me log in. And after logging this, I need to go to i can i can show you the easiest way um, let's go to the wizard so let us start it click on the next current password i don't want to change the password you can click and skip and uh, select the time zone and i'm in india so i'll select the 5 30. is that 5 30 here Okay, and click on the next. I'll select the country, the India. And service provider will be Airtel Bridge. So we need to select this option called Bridge. Uh, click on the next. Uh, let this everything to be enabled as it is. Um, if you want to disable this uh, Wi-Fi network, you can. If you don't, uh, just keep it. In. So I'm keeping this as this is for the purpose because if I may get, get disconnected from, from the current network, I will log into this D-Link uh, home LAN and then will um, access this uh, IP address. So let's click on next and save it. After saving the configuration. Okay, configuration is saved. And now we have to go to the advanced. So we have to go to the setup and we have to go to internet setup. In the internet setup, we need to the BPA. We need to select the VLAN. So we need to select the VLAN. So just click on this pen button here. And then this is the bridge mode. So we select the inner option enable and then VLAN 100. And app, add apply. So this is the VLAN which Airtel uses. So just add this VLAN uh, 100 and, and save the configuration. And then after that, you need to reboot, reboot the, uh, your router. So save and go to the maintenance and save and reboot so let's wait for that okay so mm, this is back now so let me log in to this modem once again so by default this uh, the username is admin and the password is admin admin and uh, let's review uh, the configuration. Let's go to the status and see uh, what is this? This is up or not? This is okay. DNS status, right? Okay. Let's go to the connection setup and then go to the internet setup. internet setup and this can see okay so this is done the configuration is 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 done on this uh, dealing router what we do is so if we go to the status we don't see this um, the IP address one IP address or anything on this one because this is connected on a bridge bridge uh, connection so this will show up on the other router so my other router is is tp link here and i don't i'll log in let me log into the tp link on uh, here 
on the TP-Link router we need to log in okay and we need to go to the internet so you see in the internet we have it by default this option is dynamic IP is configured what we have to do is we need to go to this uh, connection type and select the PPOA and the PPOE I need to put the password so let username and password so this username is the password of your Airtel service provider, uh, service provider IP address so if you don't know this uh, this username and password you always uh, you can call your service provider and ask for this one so so the configuration which I am showing you this is not only for the Airtel you can um, you can configure this way like Airtel or any other service provider um, using this bridge connection mode so let me put my password here and save the configuration and after this if you save the configuration what will happen is the Airtel IP as the ISP IP address we should see on this Airtel uh, on this sorry TP-Link router so let's go to the basic and it says the internet is disconnected connection type PPOE let's wait here let's refresh this connection it says trying to connect or oh, it's disconnected it's not connected let me refresh it once again no so I check you need the password confirm that you need provided if needed okay okay so I had given the wrong username and password that's the reason it was giving me error so now you can see I have connected and this is the IP address so now the IP Airtel has given the IP address on my TP-Link router not the uh, the DSL the now we have successfully uh, connected to the internet through this PP um, bridge mode so um, in this in this connection the DSL router which is the dealing in my case is connects running on the bridge mode and this router the TP-Link router is connected on the PPOA mode so after connecting this I'm getting this IP address so the, the physical connectivity done between these devices is like from this DSL connection which is in D-Link land from the LAN port uh, I have connected the cable to the TP-Link router WAN port and that's done thanks for watching guys thank you